guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to show off um, what I got. Not my most recent Ralph's haul, because uh, that would be what I got today. Um, but I'm going to show off what I got uh, the time before that. And then also I want to show off uh, some new mail that I got in from Bryce. And also, um, it's from Bryce, but he actually got it from the Me Dollar Tree. Um, but um, it was from Bryce, actually. But they shipped it directly to me. Um, Melissa and Larry, I believe, are their names. So, um, I'm going to show off that package first. Uh, he got me two titles from them. And also, I got this cute little hat for a dollar, over a Dollar Tree, of course. And I will probably forget to wear it or if I'll even make a video on actual St. Patrick's Day. And I just thought it was cute. So, I'm going to go ahead and wear it in this video. So, okay. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, it says, Hi, Katie. These DVD Blu-rays came from Bryce. We hope you like them. Enjoy. Take care. So I've never actually ordered anything from them um, or traded anything from them personally. So, but this is awesome because I have been looking for this title. Inspector Gadget saves Christmas for a very long time. And I have never been able to find it at my Dollar Tree, so very, very happy to have this one finally. And then also, I got the Friday the 13th, the Killer Cut on Blu-ray. Which, of course, I already have the DVD of this one, but I did not have the Blu-ray. And of course, you know this has Jared Padalecki in it from Supernatural, of course. So, very happy for that. So, thank you both to Me Dollar Tree and to Bryce for that. And then now the ones that Bryce actually sent me. In the first package, he sent me, I don't know if this is off. Heist or pissed? <laughs> Shit, I have no idea. Everybody knows I'm terrible at, at words in general. So, but got this one. Some mistakes will haunt you forever. And this is a, um, damn it, is it Cynodig or Cynodime? I don't remember what he said on how it's pronounced. But it's that, that release company place. Um, but I do not recognize any of these names. That are in here but I do like the cover of that though I love movies that take place like in winter time with snow and stuff like that so I'm definitely interested in this one and this one is 91 minutes and it's not rated and I don't know it has 2016 and 2020 I hate when they have two years like that. And then the other one he sent me in this package is the On Unbidden. Which this one I did actually see a preview for. And it looked a little bit kind of B-movie-ish. But it's still, you know, the story, it looked okay. So, and this is a Viva release. And that's just my opinion about the B-movie kind of looking. Because um, it kind of looked that way in the beginning, but then once it got a little bit deeper into the story, it didn't really look as much a B-movie-ish. So, I don't know. Maybe it was just the way that one preview that I saw looked. So, I'm not sure. But, got that one. And then now for the second package... He found me, because I've been looking for this title also for a very long time. Don't Tell Mom, The Babysitter's Dead. This obviously is not a Dollar Tree title. He found these at um, McKay's. 
I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. But I have not seen this movie in forever. But it's got Christina Applegate in it. No rules, no curfews, no nagging, no pulse. And let me see, are there any other names? Um, no other names that I recognize, at least other than hers. But this one, I think this one's from the 80s. I do not see. It says 2009 on the back, but that's got to be when they put this, this copy of this DVD out. I don't see... Yeah, I don't see the actual release date. But it's saying that this was put out by HBO, though. That's weird. Maybe this is early 90s, then. I don't know, because... I don't know, was HBO around in the 80s? I don't know. Anyways. Um, but this is 105 minutes, and it's PG-13, if I didn't already say that. I can't remember if I did or not. So, but very happy to have that one back. And then he also got me the shadow effect, which these ones all came from McKay's, even though this one I know is a Dollar Tree title. But I definitely have been wanting to see this one too because um, Cam. Oh, God. Gidgen. Uh, hell if I know and then um, he I know is from the Twilight series is where I first recognized him from but I know he was also in um, Pandorum is that what it is and then he was also in that one horror movie that I cannot think of now. The one that has where she cracks the egg and that freaky little bug thing comes out in the pan. Um, okay, that's going to bug the crap out of me now. I can't think of it now. But this also has a uh, Jonathan Reese Myers who played in the new Dracula series that didn't last very long. But also in um, like From London to Rome or from Rome with Love, that one with um, John Travolta, hopefully somebody out there will know what I'm talking about, because yeah, I obviously cannot keep my thoughts straight because I have to keep pausing to think of what the hell I'm trying to talk about, but anyways, yeah, this one just sounds and looks really good. And I like both of these actors, so there you go. And then I have never seen this one before, so I am very, very happy that he found this one for me. It's the original Children of the Corn. And just like on this one and with... Uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. They're both factory sealed. So that is awesome. And, um, of course, Children from the Corn is Stephen King. You know, who did Carrie, The Shining, um, The Dead Zone, and Christine. And this is from 1984. 92 minutes. And it looks like top 10 new... Damn it. Sorry about that. Zero knocked over the phone. Every video, every time, somebody's got to knock over the phone. So I got that one. And then he found me the original copy, or the original one of uh, Jacob's Ladder with Tim Robbins. I do want to see the remake of this, but I wanted to get this one back first because I haven't seen this movie in so long that I don't even remember it. But I heard that this one's actually really twisted. 
but I mean, like I said, I honestly do not remember anything about it, so, um, other than, of course, it has Tim Roberts in it, um, but this is from 1990, it is an Artisan rated R, 116 minutes. The most frightening thing about Jacob Singer's nightmare is that he isn't dreaming. And this is from the director of Fatal Attraction. And I think Fatal Attraction is the one um, with Glenn Close, right? And um, is it Michael Douglas? Because I think I have that one and I think I have watched that one where she goes... I'll have to watch it again because I've only seen it one time. But I think that one was kind of a bit twisted too. And then he found me um, Friday the 13th uh, Part 5 A New Beginning and then Friday the 13th uh, The Final Chapter. And then the final chapter has Kind of a, I don't know, what would you call that? A 3D? I don't know if you could see that really or not on the slip cover. So, I am very close to completing now, with his help, of course, um, to completing my Jason collection. So, very, very excited about that. And both of these say they're the deluxe editions. And part five is, of course, rated R from 95, 92 minutes. And final chapter is rated R from 94, or 84, sorry, not 94. Both of these are, so, I guess final chapter came out first, and then came out number five and 85. Huh. Okay. I thought it was the other way around, but okay. So. But yeah. Very happy. And then the last one from Bryce, uh, he got me the, I think this is the original, original first ever made, right? Or... Maybe, I don't know. Because this is from 1931. But it's, um, Bella Lugosi's Dracula. So, I don't know if this is the first one ever made. Or one of the first ones ever made. But, um, because I'm wanting to start at the very beginning and collect all the original classic... Uh, Universal Monster movies because I've never actually seen any of them which I know that's that's a huge shame on me for being a horror fan and all so um, but yeah I'm very happy to start out with Dracula because vampires out of all the creatures are my absolute favorite so very happy for that and this is like I said 1931 it's an hour and 15 minutes long and it's not rated so, very, very happy about that one. Okay, and now I actually have one title to show that I did pick up at Walmart that I was excited to finally get, and that is A Simple Favor with Blake Lively and um, Anna Kendrick. Kendricks. Um, I've seen previews for this one, and it just looks, like, really intriguing, so I'm very happy to have this one, because I got it before, actually, on Blu-ray Combo Pack, um, but I had to take it back, so they had just the DVD copy in their 374 bin, so I was very happy to find it again. And I love both of these actresses, of course. And this is rated R... And it is from 2018, 117 minutes from Lionsgate. 
and oh Paul Fig is the director of this he's the one who did all the um what do you call it the like bridesmaids all the Melissa McCarthy movies isn't it because that's her husband I think maybe I'm wrong I don't know. Maybe somebody can let me know if I'm right about that in the comments or not. If I'm thinking if that's the right person or not. But I think it is. I don't know. But yeah. So that's cool. I didn't know that. And then, okay, now for the Ralph's haul. Now this one right here, it's a burned copy. It's, you know, yeah. But I was just looking this up online um, because it's a movie that I watched when I was younger that I was wanting to get back um, or not back but I was just wanting to see again because I remember really liking it and I believe it's a Disney movie if I'm not mistaken um, but it's called Suzy Q and this is also a burned um, or just a printed out from somebody's computer cover and everything too. So, but I don't know if anybody else will recognize this on what I'm talking about. Yeah, the cover. Like I said, it's just a burned disc for 50 cents over at Ralph's. My phone's about to die, so I'll have to switch files around so I'll be back in just a second guys okay guys I'm back sorry about that okay so yeah this Suzy Q movie um, says Suzy Q and her boyfriend were on their way to a dance one night when they got into a car crash and fell off a bridge years later a teenager named Zach Sands recovering from his father's death moves into Susie's old house along with his mother and sister, Penny Sands. One night, Zach discovers that he can see Susie's ghost, and Susie attempts to help Zach's family, and along the way, sparks a romance. So, like I said, I don't know if anybody... It says August of 95 is when this came out, so... I don't know if anybody else will recognize or remember this movie at all. Like I said, I believe it was a Disney movie. Um, just a, you know, not like released in theaters, just a Disney Channel movie that came on TV. But, yeah. Um, but I thought that was cool that I was just looking this up and then I found this burn copy. So I'm really hoping, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm really hoping that this is good quality that I can at least, you know, watch it until I can find this for a decent amount of money or something. Um, so yeah, but okay, I'm gonna try to go through these. I think I say this on almost every video, but try to go through these a little bit faster because yeah, there's a little bit here. Um, then I found this movie called These Girls. Never heard of it before, but it has David Boreanaz in it, which, of course, I love because he was an angel, and I was obsessed with Angel when I was a teenager because of Buffy and, of course, also Angel. And I don't recognize any of these other actors in here. Uh, it says, best friends share everything, but she kind of looks familiar. She, I might know from somewhere else, but I'm not for sure from where. So, but yeah. A Canadian graffiti with girl power? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That word right there, graffiti, that's probably so wrong. I can so not read. I shouldn't even try. But moving on, um, I found September Dawn.
It says, the story of an American tragedy that has never been told until now. So, I mean, it says that, but I don't necessarily know for sure if that means that this is based on a true story or not. But this has um, John Voight in it. That's the only name that I recognize. And this one is rated R, 111 minutes. Uh, looks like 2008 from Sony Pictures. Oh, it looks like Terrence Stamp is in this too. Although I didn't see his name up here, so I don't know. Um, and then I found, uh, this is a Hallmark Entertainment one. It's called The Cult. This one says, a story of innocence born to the men of the first Calvary. And it says, rated 13. And it looks like it says 83 minutes from 2004. And then I think I already have this one, but I don't know if it was a good copy or honestly, again, for sure if I have it or not, but went ahead and grabbed it again anyways. Um, but Dungeons and Dragons and plus, you know, Snapper Case. Snapper. And this is a New Line Platinum Series one. Um, PG-13, um, looks like from 2000, and I don't see a time thingy on here. Oh wait, running time 107. So got that one. And then I found Empire, Lust, Power, and the Epic Battle for Rome. And this just says TV-14. It looks like it's a touchstone. Um, 257 minutes. So I think this is like a mini-series. Um... And then I found this one, which I've never heard of either. It's called The Christmas Wish, but it has Neil Patrick Harris in it. And it also has uh, Debbie Reynolds. And it looks like Debbie Reynolds, it says Mother in and Out and Singing in the Rain. So I don't think I've seen any of those though. I mean, I've heard of Singing in the Rain at least. And I don't know about the other two. And of course, Neil Patrick Harris, you know, I know him from, um, of course, Starship Troopers. I've never actually seen any of Doogie Howser, um, but he's in the White Castle movies and um, How I Met Your Mother. And is it the Smurfs movies, right? That's that's the one that he's into. 
So, but we got this. This is 95 minutes from 1998. It looks like Sterling is the company. So, oh, sorry, I don't know if I even showed the back. Sorry. There's the back. And then um, this one is a mini series uh, from HBO called Empire Falls. It has Ed Harris, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Helen Hunt, Paul Newman, Robin Wright Penn, uh, Aiden Quinn, and Joanne Woodward. And on here on the disc part, it says volume two right here but I think on the discs though it looks like it has everything because I have disc one and disc two in here but I mean they're they weren't meant to be that way you know I mean the discs are actually sliding around so I mean, I don't know why it was, I don't know why it was set up that way, so I don't know if any of the information on the back of here is fully correct, because this one says like approximately 97 minutes, but let me see on the discs themselves. Um, doesn't say the time span but it has chapters 1 through 4 and then 1 through 8 on disc 2 and the epilogue on disc 2 with bonus features so I think everything's here so like I said I, I don't know I don't think anything on the I don't know I don't think anything on the, uh, what do you call it, the sleeve is right, or the, the thing, yeah. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, because, yeah. Um, and then I found this one, it's called Blue Ridge Falls. Uh, it says, even good boys make bad mistakes. And this one has uh, Peter Fessinelli. Uh, and Tom Arnold, those are the only two names that I recognize, but it also has Amy Irvine, Chris Isaac, and J.R. Ferguson. And I'm not 100% sure if I even know who, um, Peter Fascinelli is. I mean, it kind of sounds familiar, but I definitely, of course, know who Tom Arnold is. But this says that it is a drama, approximately 100 minutes. And there goes Zero, knocking the phone over again. Always awesome for that to happen. Um, this does say Sony on here, so I don't know. Uh, rated R from 1999. And then we got Dedication. This has... Billy Kudrup, I don't know, Mandy Moore, and Tom Wilkinson. I got it just because I know who Mandy Moore is, and I like her as an actress. And this one is rated R. Uh, looks like it's a Weinstein one. Um, from 2007. And I don't see a time on here. And then I found the Nativity Story.
The journey of a lifetime, a story for all time. And this one is PG, looks like New Line Cinema. Um, I think it says 101 minutes. And I do not see a time, or a date, I mean. So, got that one. And then I found another Christmas one that I've never heard of, um, A Holiday to Remember. A holiday love story that will warm your heart. And this is also a Sterling 93 minutes from 2002. And I don't think it has a rating. Yeah, I don't see a rating on there. And then I found I Am David. Found actually a lot of kind of religious ones this go around over there. But I got this one because it has, um, how do you, Jim Cabazel, Cabazel, I don't know. He played in uh, Frequency and played in other movies too, but that's the only one that I could think of right now that comes to mind. But I, I really like him. So, got that one. I'm going to kind of go through these a little bit faster now. Um, I found Hope Springs. Which I think it's funny because I think Bryce just showed this one off. I mean, of course, his was on Blu-ray, but um, on his Kino Low Bar one that he had. But I just found this one. It has Colin Firth in it, which is why I got it. And Heather Graham, the mini driver. So, But I really like Colin Firth. Um, so I definitely wanted to grab that one up. And then I found Just the Ticket with Andy Garcia and, um, who is it, Andy, Andy McDowell. He's irresponsible, unpredictable, and totally irresistible. I've never even heard of this movie, actually. And then I found The Last Days of Frankie and Jesse James. And this one has Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson, and Willie Nelson. So I thought that was a pretty cool cast. The True Story of the Legendary American Outlaws. And then another cool one, which again, I've never heard of, is called uh, Love Ranch. It has Helen Mirren, Joe Pesci, and I have no idea, Sergio something. I'm not even going to try with that last name. And then I found this four pack, which again, I thought was pretty cool, but I've never really heard, I don't think of any of these ones, um, but got Bye Bye Birdie, uh, Forever Together, Boys Will Be Boys, and Invisible Dad. But in this uh, Together Forever, it has a uh, Michelle Trenchenberger, something like that from um, Buffy also. And then Bye Bye Birdie has Jason Alexander in it. 
Those are the only two people that I really recognize from these movies. And then here's the back. Okay, guys, continuing on. Um, next up, we got Garden Party. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was actually, um, that horror movie, but I think that one's called, um, I don't know if it's called Garden Party also, or, um, I don't think it's called Murder Party, but it's, it's something dealing, like, with a garden or, or something like that, um, I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. But it's some kind of, um, I think it's probably a uh, horror comedy, but yeah. But this is obviously not it, because <clears throat> this is more like a drama. But anyways, um, yeah, I found this one. It still looks like it, hopefully it might be interesting. So, got this one. And then I found, again, another um, weird Christmas one uh, called A Different Kind of Christmas. Um, this has Shelley Long and Barry Botswick. I don't know who either one of those people are. Uh, it says Shelley Long is from the Brady Bunch movies and from Cheers. Which I never watched either one of those. I mean, I watched Cheers a little bit, I think, but, um, I mean, I don't recognize her at all, so. So, got that one. And then I found this, it's supposed to be, well, it just says action pack, actually, um, but it's on the back here. We have, um, the Big Man, um, Bravo to Zero, The King, Iron Town, and Deception. And it looks like we got two with Liam Neeson, and then one with Sean Bean, which is why I got it. And the the King's Iron Town one, I'm not sure. I don't recognize anybody from there. But it does give you a list of names. I think this is supposed to be like an 8 or a 12 pack. But I got it for just these four movies because of Liam Neeson's in this one. And this one right here. And then Sean Bean is in the Bravo 201. But on the front cover, it says um, that you have Mark Wahlberg, Kevin Spacey, and Colin Farrell. So I don't know if those are all for in just this one side, because I think this is probably a two-pack. So I have another DVD. Um... But, I don't know. Um, oh, they say it right there. It has all the descriptions and everything. But, I'm not going to go over all of that. But, it at least had these four. So, and I don't think I have any of those ones yet. So, and then I found here um, the Lodger. And I got this one because it has Shane West in it. I've always liked Shane West. And this also does have Hope Davis, um, Simon Baker, and then Alfred Molina, Molana, the one who played um, Doc Ock in a uh, Spider-Man. Two. Dr. Octavius it says everyone is a suspect. And then I found this one. It's a Bob Hope 
film collection, uh, The Great Lover. And this one is from 1949. And it also has Rhonda Fleming and George Reeves. Which I don't know for sure not um, if he might be related to Christopher Reeves at all. I do not know. So I've got that one. And then I have no idea what this one is, but it's called Time of Fear. It says, Evil Takes Its Time. And then it says, Fry's Home Video. The Season of Terror Has Begun. Looks like this is from 2003. I have no idea about that one, except for I liked the title, so I figured give it a chance. And then I found Visions of Terror, and this has Barbara Eden in it. I do not know who she is. Uh, let's see if it says anywhere on the back. Yeah, no, it doesn't say, like, another thing she's been in or anything. Says, how could she prevent what only she could see? That one. And then I was super, super, super excited to find this one. Um, see No Evil 2. And I didn't even know that they had made a second one of this, actually. But this has Daniel Harris and, of course, Catherine Isabel, who I absolutely love. And this does have the digital code in it. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm hoping that it will work. And then this has Kane in it, of course. And this is from 2014, and I love the first See No Evil, so I can't wait to see this one. And then I was surprised that I actually didn't already have this one, but I found Letters to Juliet. And I was surprised because I love Amanda um, Seyfried? Seyfried? Maybe that's it, Seyfried. Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I love her, especially ever since Jennifer's body, especially. I've loved her for a long time in Red Riding Hood. And this did come with the slip cover. As you can see, it's just the exact same thing, so. But. And this was $20 at Best Buy. I got it for 50 cents. I love it. And then I found this triple pack, which I already have. Um, what is this one? Oh, this one's just called This Confessions One with Drew Barrymore. And of course, I already have Hostage with Bruce Willis. But I did not have this Copland one. And that one has um, Sylvester Stallone, Harvey Cattell, Ray Liotta, and Robert De Niro. So, and this Confessions one with Drew Barrymore, I have not watched this one yet. I've never seen it, so I have no idea, but I love Hostage. That is a great movie. And... Oh, I think that's just a credit it says, not that this actually came with a code for voodoo or whatever. And then I found this one with Randy Travis called The Wagger, I believe. Right, The Wagger. Or Wager, maybe that's it, Wager. I don't know, Wagger or Wager, I don't know.
but this one is a dub approved. Got that one. And then I actually found two Blu-rays on the 50 cent wall, which is very unusual. So I found New York, I Love You. And I don't even think I've ever heard of this movie before. And this one has Bradley Cooper, Hayden Christensen, Andy Garcia. And I didn't even realize that these names go all around. I uh, got Shia LaBeouf, John Hurt, uh, James Can, oh, Anton Yelchin, Ethan Hawke, Maggie Q, Christina Ricci, Orlando Bloom, um, Robin Wright Penn, Chris Cooper, uh, and, and a whole bunch more. It just keeps, it goes all the way around in there. But I found that one, and then the second one I found is Confessions of a Shopaholic. And this is, is it Isla Fisher? Isla Fisher? Oh, and this is a Jerry Bruckheimer? I did not know that. That's kind of weird, because he usually does action stuff, and this is, I think, more like a comedy, romance, something of another. I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was kind of cool, though, to find those on the 50 cent wall. And then, um, I found Left Behind 2. Which, I don't know if this one follows, like, the Nicolas Cage Left Behind, or if this is from another series of Left Behind movies or not. But I liked the Left Behind, uh, Nicolas Cage one, so... I don't know. I know even the Left Behind Nicolas Cage one I know is religious just like these ones are. So I, I, I think that, that they follow each other, but I'm not 100% sure. So, but I got that one. And then the last thing that I got here is this four kids favorite, but it's actually missing two of these cartoon ones. Um... The ones that it has is the the Secret Saturdays Volume One, and then the Ben Ten Alien Files Volume Two. So, but still, for fifty cents to get these two, still not a bad deal. So I went ahead and picked it up anyways for just these two. I've never actually seen either one of these though. So, but again, me animated. Of course, I'm going to get it. So, but all right, guys, that is going to be the end of this haul. Uh, again, it's from Ralph's and my stuff from Bryce and the stuff that he got me from uh, me, Dollar Tree, uh, Larry and Melissa. Um, so thank you very much, Bryce, again, for everything, for always looking out for me and getting me movies and everything to help me complete my, especially my, um, Friday the 13th collection, because I think, uh, I don't actually know, I might be done or I might need just maybe one more, I'm not sure, I'll have to look at everything actually to make sure, because I might either be done or... Or I might only need like maybe one or two more titles and then I'll have it be completed finally. Um, so, and that is awesome. So, I am very, very happy about that. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I know I said on my last video that in my next video I would be doing a giveaway. But this video is already going a little bit long and everything. And I don't have everything together right now to do um, the giveaway, so I will, I promise, do that in my next video. I will do the giveaway info and, um, get everything together on my next video for the giveaway. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys enjoy, and thank you everyone for all, again, my new subscribers that I've been getting. And, you know, I hope you continue to enjoy my channel and, you know, like the videos and, everything. So yeah. Okay guys. Well, I will see you soon. All right. Bye guys.